Assalamualaikum and welcome back to Marwish Cuisine. Today I'm sharing a healthy and delicious recipe. It's a lobia kima, means black eyed peas with some minced meat. It's healthy, nutritious and delicious recipe which I'm sharing with you guys. So first for this recipe, I'm heating up some oil in a cooking pot and then I'll be adding some sliced raw onions. I add a little bit of oil as I always do but if you want you can add more oil for this recipe. Then fry onions until they are very nice light golden brown. Then I am adding a chopped tomato. Then start cooking until tomato are is soft and oil separate from the masala. Then we will be adding rest of the seasoning which is ginger and garlic. Then I will be adding salt, red chili powder, turmeric powder and coriander powder. Mix all the seasoning well with the tomato and onion mixture and then I'll be adding yogurt. Now if you want you can add either tomato or yogurt or both like I did. My uh, husband loved to have tomato in the salad so I add a little bit of tomato for him. Then cover and simmer and let it cook until oil separate and masala cooks completely. Then uh, it's time to add minced meat. So today I'm adding hand cut chicken minced meat. If you want, of course, you can add beef or goat meat or whatever your family like to have. Then mix the minced meat with the gravy and then cover and let it cook until this minced meat is almost done. Then the main ingredients, time to add our lobia, uh, black eye pea. Uh, I'm using a canned black eye pea, so I just rinse the uh, black eye pea and then I add it in the gravy. Uh, even if you're not using the canned one, the, your black eye pea should be pre-boiled and completely boiled before adding it to the gravy. So when you add it in there, just cover again, um, simmer and let it cook for at least 10-15 minutes so it absorbs all the masalas. And your lobia kima or black eye pea kima is ready to serve. Sprinkle some garam masala or chopped cilantro and serve it with some boiled rice or chapati roti. As you guys have noticed, I'm adding more legumes and beans in our diet and this lobia kima is my family favorite. And if you are trying this recipe at home, please let me know how it turned out with you. If you want to learn something else, let me know. Leave me a comment down below and I will try my best to make it happen for you guys. Once again, thank you so much for watching. And if you like this recipe, don't forget to click on the links to enjoy a lot more recipes like this.